Hello, today I'll be uh, giving you a tutorial on how to enable your DVD player on your Windows Media Player 11 for Windows XP. And um, in some cases, your Windows Media Player, uh, when you pop in a DVD of your choice, you put it in and you don't see anything. Or it just pops up the graphics. Now, uh, or you see the DVD and you just don't hear nothing. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to enable the DVD player where you'll be able to see and hear but you also got to check to see if you have the hardware for it meaning your internals in your in your computer or your desktop or your laptop or what, whatever you got and the auto codex if you're not sure about your audio codex what you want to do you want to go to uh, Google and what I mean by codex or is that when you pop in a DVD and it plays the uh, the video and there's no sound then that means you're missing the audio codex but uh, this one here is a great program it's uh you type in you go into google and then you type in k-light codex pack download and you want the full version and once you uh you, once you get to that uh website you're going to install the biggest file uh, for example i have k-light K codex pack 4.8.5 so this one here is for the audio codex uh, it's a very good program I recommend it. It's a free uh, download. And then once you have uh, downloaded and installed it in your computer, what you want to, what you're gonna want to do is go uh, to your Start menu, then Run, Reg Edit, or uh, your Registry Editor. And then uh, what we're gonna do from there is uh, right here at H key Current User, you're going to um, expand that. Once you expand that, you're going to go to software and expand that. And once you have expanded software, you're going to go to Microsoft and expand Microsoft. And then you're going to go to uh, Media Player and expand that. Once you have expanded Media Player, you will go to Player and expand that. Now under the player there's a few folders there and the one you want to click on is settings. On the right side is, are some uh, values, uh, key values already default or they're already there. But the one, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to create a new uh, string value. You're going to right click, new, and string value. And what you're going to do, you're going to specifically and exactly type in this it's one word enable DVD UI okay let me type it here let me get rid of this so this is oops I'm sorry so anyways this is what you're going to type in in your new string value. Exactly like that. Okay. And what you're going to do once you have typed that in, you're going to double click and right here where it says value data, you're going to type in yes. And then once you have typed in yes, you're going to press OK, and you're going to click out of the registry editor. So on the next time when you pop in your favorite DVD or DVD of your choice, uh, you'll get an option as Windows pops up all the time. If you got other programs, uh, DVD, uh, Power DVD, and uh, what have you, you got a choice for those programs, or you have a choice to pick your media, the media player 11. If you do pick that, then you should be able to hear and you should be able to see your DVD. Thank you. Have a nice day.